Hi, I'm Dion Lee. I'm in Singapore for Singapore Fashion Week and you're watching Her World Plus. This collection, our 415 collection, was first presented in New York um, at New York Fashion Week in February um, of this year. So, um, yeah, we decided not to show in Sydney, um, really due to timing um, and um, also because uh, I suppose our market is more established in Australia and we're really focusing on building the brand nationally. Um, and yeah, I was really excited to come back to Singapore and um, yeah, really be able to present a new collection over here. I think that uh, it was a really interesting process uh, because I really got to see how, um, how passionate he was about what he was doing and, and yeah, he works across so many different mediums, music and um, film, um, fashion, there's so many things that he's kind of involved in. So yeah, he's, he's a really interesting and inspiring person. I wouldn't say that there's a specific Dion Lee girl, but I definitely think that there are women um, that um, influence the work and women that I have in mind when I'm designing. Um, yeah, I definitely um, am attracted to women that have a really strong sense of character and um, a sense of strength and, and are really interested in clothes that make them feel empowered. Um, but still in an effortless way, I suppose. In terms of approaching seasonality, it's really about um, layering and um, pieces that sit off the body in a way. So I know that in Sydney, um, it really is about kind of building up looks through, um, through multiple layers and allowing that to, I suppose, break apart. Uh, depending on the weather. Yeah, there's definitely a really strong interest in fashion here and there's um, so many amazing retailers that are based here. Um, so there's obviously a really strong, um, a really strong interest in fashion. Um, but yeah, I can see that the, the climate makes it quite challenging to always, <laughs> always be um, always be head to toe in fashion. <laughs>The 415 show um, was really focusing on um, textures more than anything else. Um, from a very kind of like clean, sharp text silhouette to something that felt a little bit more kind of textural. Um, so there are many pieces in the collection that um, have a sense of um, being completely sharp and, and then there are other pieces that uh, I suppose have more of a more of a textural element to them. This is probably one of my favourite looks in the collection. Um, it's a silk satin that's been bonded together and each piece has been cut on the bias and then reassembled to kind of fall open and create a sense of movement. Um, with this collection, I was kind of trying to visually translate the concept of silence and noise, um, so in a textural way, so playing with something that felt really clean and severe and contrasting that with something that felt a little bit more coarse and raw. Um, I was also playing with a few different drape techniques where it was um, more about kind of cutting into the fabric, kind of slashing the fabric and allowing it to kind of drop open over the body. Um, and a few drape techniques that um, were really about kind of like cutting into the fabric and allowing it to collapse and um, using that to inform the drape so it felt, um, felt easy and um, effortless, I suppose.